teabag you. It's un undefended teabag right now. Do it. See what happens. <laughs> um, we focused pretty heavily yesterday on mainly defensive procedures. Today will be offensive. So we're getting towards the ch pointy part of the, you know, competing. We're thinking about how we're going to win matches today. So we did a lot of defensive procedures yesterday. How do we stop our social from losing? Today I want your focus to be how are we going to go out there and win. And the big thing is submitting motherfuckers. And that's going to be the yeah, big feature of what we do on Saturday. So that'll be what we're going to do. Then we'll do some positional training and then we'll go live. And, and again, those that want to rest around, those that don't want to train at all, totally get it. Um, look after each other. But I think getting the sweat up and getting some calories burned is a good idea. It's up to you how, how much you want to go. This shouldn't deplete us, this training session, all right? Let's get a part of we'll go with Turtle to start with. Let's go. This is a uh, HPU vlog takes on Singapore slash UFC embedded slash HPU all access embedded Singapore. I don't know. This is the lovely coffee establishment that we went to yesterday. We just finished our second to last training for the week. Just here. Shush. Hey, how are you? Can I get uh, ice latte, please? and 
uh, two hot lattes, both with full cream milk. That's a Singapore win for you, mate. Lovely. It's fantastic. The uh, it's like obviously muggy and sweaty and hot because we're on the equator, but uh, it's a beautiful country. Really, really nice architecture. Um, there's greenery everywhere within the city. Like everywhere you go, there's greenery, which is beautiful. The people are fantastic. The hospitality is second to none. The cabs are really easy and cheap to get around everywhere. I've heard public transport's quite good, but that's for poor people, so <laughs> shan't be shan't be taking that. Tarkin took the bus. Fair play to him. Um, but yeah, it's it's been awesome so far. The food's really good. People are lovely. It's quite a densely um, quite a densely populated multi-culture here. A lot of Chinese, a lot of Indian, a lot of English speaking people. I think English is the predominant language in the country, which is good. It feels and like then, this is a safe Asian country to go to if you're is. scared of traveling. It is. And one of the local guys was telling us yesterday we had dinner with him that Singapore has actually become the business capital of Asia. It used to be Hong Kong and uh, it also used to be Shanghai. But now that China has had some things going on, it's now actually located in Singapore, which is pretty cool. And there is a lot of, like, there's a lot of uh, Rolls Royce and Lamborghinis and shit hanging around and heaps of people have Rolexes on, so <laughs> it's cool. It's, it's cool to see. It's good yeah. to be around. It's an uplifting, vibrant sort of energy. So yeah, we just finished our second to last training, if not our last training. Boys cut the weight tomorrow. Um, some of them have a fair bit to move, which is fine. They're all professionals. They all have their systems in place, so we'll figure that out. And then uh, I don't have to move any weight, which is great. Rock up on Saturday, ready to go, ready to compete, ready to submit everybody. That's the plan. Just and uh, yeah, get my belt and go back to ADCC Worlds. It's been the plan for like the last 12 months since I won trials last time, and I don't expect anything different. Why would you? No, well, the work has been done and the, the effort's been placed, so um, essentially it's it's up to your own, it's up to your own volition to continue to. Uh, work hard and, and put the energy where you need to put the energy and not waste any, not put any in the opposing direction in terms of, well, what if this happens and I lose and blah, blah, blah. It's all wasted mental faculty. It doesn't make sense to me. Whereas a lot of people that compete do it incorrectly. They do a lot of head miles and they try and analyze every single possible outcome that could ab absolutely happen and they just end up burning a lot of energy and arriving on the day exhausted. Sounds like you're talking about me. Sounds like you, yeah. <laughs> Bye, see you tomorrow. That's it.